You know, Mark, this just isn't just about border towns. Picture when the Toronto Blue Jays are in town playing the Mariners. The place has gone crazy with Canadians and their cash. And that cash hasn't been flowing for quite a while. It was almost two weeks ago that the Canadian border opened up to vaccinated Americans with an extra negative COVID test heading north. It was hoped the U.S. would reciprocate, allowing Canadians to come south, even with prevention protocols. But now that's not happening for at least another month. That means more hard times for border towns like Sumas, where lots of Canadians used to make quick trips south for gas, milk and other essentials, where some business owners continue to hang on. These businesses cannot survive without the Canadian border open. I hope it's the last time. Congressman Rick Larson's district includes the city of Bellingham. He's in sync with much of the Washington delegation's frustration with the continued closure. We've been in contact uh, with the administration uh, explaining uh, the challenges we're facing. And there is still frustration with Canada's government for the FRS Clipper providing fast catamaran service to Canada's Victoria Harbor. They still can't even haul Americans north, much less losing out on Canadians coming south. But your situation is different. You still can't do anything. That's correct. And the Marine border recently opened on August 9th, but commercial vessels are still precluded from operating. David Gudgel is CEO and frustrated. Does that just make your situation last even long? I think it does. And what we saw when, the, uh, when it was extended last month was that there was an expectation on the Canadian side that there, it would be reciprocated. And when it wasn't, I think that led to uh, just not as much motivation to uh, work with us. Now, Gudgel says he is hopeful they can at least salvage October. That's kind of, in a normal year, their last real profitable month because theirs is largely a seasonal business. If they cannot salvage back, uh, October, that means this is a second year where they've been really wiped out in terms of business going between the U.S. and Canada. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.